The Old Woman and the Eagle by Idris Shaw Illustrated by Natasha Del Mar Once upon a time, when cups were plates and when knives and forks grew in the ground, there was an old woman who had never seen an eagle. One day, an eagle was flying high in the sky and decided to stop for a rest. He swooped down and landed, where do you think? He landed right at the front door of the old woman's house. The old woman took a long, hard look at the eagle and said, Oh my, what a funny pigeon you are. She figured he was a pigeon, you see, because although she had never seen an eagle, she had seen lots of pigeons. I am not a pigeon at all, said the eagle, drawing himself up to his full height. Nonsense, said the old woman. I've lived for more years than you've got feathers in your wings, and I know a pigeon when I see one. If you're so sure that I'm a pigeon, said the eagle, then why do you say I'm a funny pigeon? Well, just look at your beak, said the old woman. It's all bent. Pigeons have nice, straight beaks. And look at those claws of yours. Pigeons don't have long claws like that. And look at the feathers on top of your head. They are all messed up and need to be brushed down. Pigeons have nice, smooth feathers on their heads. And before the eagle could reply, she got hold of him and carried him into the house. She took her clippers and trimmed his claws until they were quite short. She pulled on his beak until it was quite straight. And she brushed down the lovely tuft of feathers on top of his head until it was quite flat. Visit www.hoopokids.com to purchase this book along with other titles in this series of Teaching Stories by Idris Shah. Many of these wonderful books are now available in Spanish and also special editions with the text in both Spanish and English, an excellent resource for working with children for whom English is a second language. Audio versions of the stories are also available on CD. They are read with and without page turn signals so that when your child is ready, he or she can listen to the story being read and follow along with the text turning the page when the signal indicates. This is a first step to becoming an independent reader. And you can play the audio version without signals while traveling with your child. Children love to listen to stories again and again, and this is a wonderful way for them to do so.